They're saying you have to affirm somebody else's belief system. If you look at them and they're a man and, they, and they've got a penis and they tell you they're a woman or they tell you that they, you, you know they're a labradoodle or something like that, why should you, be, why should you <laughs> believe it? I mean to laugh. I don't I have mean a problem to laugh. with that it. That was a funny thing to say. I don't have a problem with it. They can believe that they're a labradoodle, a female one or a bisexual <laughs> labradoodle. But why should I have to accept that? I'm going to go five, four, three, two, one, move. And it's very important that everybody move at the same time. We should no longer use the word gender. Don't go up, 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 up. We should no longer use the word gender. Five, four, three, two, one, move. Can I say what you shared with us yep. before? Mm -hmm. So you shared with us that you're trans, is that right? That's correct. And and what does that mean, first of all? Uh, it means I have a gender identity uh, that is not reflective of biological sex. And what it, I don't mean to be daft, I'm trying to mm -hmm. like explain because people are going to try to figure that out. What does that mean? Uh, it means that we, uh, a word like gender um, helps explain uh, nuances in the world of men and women, boys and girls. Um, yeah, Bo uh, yeah. So what is, the, when you hear the word uh, gender, what does that mean? What is that, like, how would you define that? Uh, that's usually, in my view, that's usually a reference to gender identity. So, for lack of a better phrase, a sense of what one perceives is biological sex, but we're not calling it biological sex. So if a person is born with a penis, they can have a gender that's female? Is that accurate? Something like that, yes. What could, I, what could I say that have been, would have been more articulate, that have described that better? Um, I think it's one of those topics that being articulate for anyone, even myself, can be difficult because um, everyone's everyone has different experiences in how they perceive gender slash sex um, and it's a very personal experience and because it's a very personal experience people will think that people have perceptions of others perceptions which um, to Get everyone on the same page can be particularly difficult. Uh, yeah, okay. Now let's, I'm gonna go back all the way over here. Now you, you gotta, shh, Connie, you can come over here. So we are doing the, we should no longer use the word gender and you're on the strongly agree and you're, you're playing the game, right? One yep. foot to each side yep. of the line, so thank you. So tell us why you think that. Well, um, tell them. Why? Well, oh. so they can hear you. All right, okay. So the idea is this, I mean, science is already in the state of being destroyed, right? It's being, you know, we're arguing about climate change or not climate change. Nothing is resolved. In the old days, climate uh, science meant knowledge. It didn't mean ambiguity. It didn't mean argument without resolution. We resolved everything, right? So what we have is a human being, as you mentioned before, he's born with a penis or he's born with, she's born with a vagina. Correct. That is material evidence. Material evidence for what? The fact that that person exists. T true or and, true. And the person has an identity. He was born with a certain mother and a father. He was born in a religion. He was born in a culture. He's got a language. He's got a station in life. So that's their whole identity. Okay. Well, and that's science because it's logical fact. It's material pe pe fact. People change their religion. There's a word for it, apostasy. Well, they could go against the religion and they, they could be apostate. They could be antitheist. I don't accept the word atheist. Right, correct, right. Atheist is completely bullshit. It's just like gender. There's okay, no so, to, so, so I'm, I'm missing you. So co connect for me so yeah. I can understand climate change to gender. I'm not making that link. Well, climate change is currently being argued for 70 years without resolution. That's not science. Science will give you a resolution, like the laws of physics, like something is male or something is female. It's absolutely self-evident. It's not something you can argue about. If you argue against reality, it means you're insane. Okay, what, what if somebody, 
and I'm not saying this is your position, I'm doing the best that I can given the difficult topic. What if somebody is born with a penis and they say, you know what, uh, I feel like I'm born in the body of uh, someone who has a vagina. So they need help because they're obviously mentally ill. Okay, so so there are we we, should, we, we can acknowledge that there are people who who are like this, who yeah, feel like this. They're not normal people. They're mentally ill people. Ah, if you say I don't have a nose, look at me. I don't have a nose. Uh -huh. I mean, it's going to be pretty idiotic, right? How are you going to deal with me like a sane person and work with me as <laughs> a job? And you know, eat if dinner. you're running around saying you have a nose, right? How about if I say I'm a fence post? I identify as a fence post. Okay. I'm straight up and down and I'm six feet tall. I'm a fence post. And don't you dare call me anything else except fence post. Okay. Then what do you think of what he has to say? Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Tell him so he can hear. Sure. Um, there is a, of course there is a bodily reality, um, bodily material, uh, a physical reality um, that's not to say it's not to say that it's wrong or it should be ignored um, what, what do you have to say about the claim that he is acknowledging correct me if I'm wrong that some people legitimately do say I was born with a penis but I feel I was born in the wrong body no but I'm saying people we both people feel like that okay what do you have to say with the, about the claim that that is a mental disorder? It's one way of describing it. Uh, probably what's more important is uh, how do we best deal with it? And so I... I okay, how do we deal with it? Hmm. Do we have those individuals get psychological help? Do we say, yes, you are in that body and we need to help you physically transition to be in that body? Do we ignore them? I mean, what is the, what is, what ought society's response to that to be? Um, so, in an earlier life of mine, um, there were attempts to, let's say, uh, convince me that um, I shouldn't transition genders, that uh, the way I'm thinking, uh, I shouldn't think like that, but um, it hasn't worked, it hasn't worked for me. Uh, but what has worked for me is medically transitioning. It's and what do, you, what do you mean by worked? You mean you feel better now? Correct. I've never been able to be convinced that I should uh, continue living life as my biological sex. What do you think about that? Well, T tell them the problem. The problem is that they won't accept that they're mentally ill, right? The the idea is if you're born with a penis and you don't you don't identify as male, there's something wrong, right? So right. So we're we're, we're all agreeing there's something wrong. The question is what should be done about it. Well, the thing to be done about it when we we're working with people who are mentally ill is to have compassion on them and to treat them, not to accept what they say. Because when you accept what you say, they're, you're validating their insanity. Okay, you're not, you're not helping the person. Okay, so c c correct me if I don't want to put words into your mouth. So if I've, please yeah. don't let me do that. So, what I ha I have the proper name. The proper name is not they they call it gender dysphoria because I'm saying gender is bullshit. You can't have the gender dysphoria. Science is about knowledge. Knowledge is permanent. Okay, the person we are talking about has a penis, and that's a permanent truth. So the idea is that basically we shouldn't be believing what they say, we should take absolute biological truth. Because okay. that's what it is. Let right. me finish. Okay. So the proper term is sex dysphoria, not gender dysphoria. The reason is this, gender is fluid. Gender is an ideology, it's not a fact. It's not a real fact. You can have Because Facebook. you can perform gender, like Judith Butler says, like you can, a dude can- You can do whatever you want. And yeah. you can, not only that, it keeps changing. The fact that it keeps changing, like a person's one, Facebook has something like 140 genders. And people openly say, we want to change the gender. I used to be this and now I'm that. Well, that's insane. Okay, let's, that's let's, go, to, let's go to the neutral, let's reset. Everyone's gender identity should be affirmed, don't move. 
everyone's gender identity should be affirmed. Five, four, three, two, one, move. Okay, t tell him way down there why you slightly agree. I slightly agree because, sorry. I slightly agree because it's not just self-identification, it's also how we live together in society. So if we had not had this conversation and I walked down the street there, I dare say most people, maybe not every single person, but I dare say most people would make a few quick assumptions about me without knowing who I am. So because of dress, presentation, um, effects of medical transition, etc., uh, without knowing me, will probably make a snap judgment that that's probably a woman. They're probably not going to think to themselves, well, that's a woman, not sure if that woman's trans or cisgender, but that looks like a woman, and I'm just going to carry on with life because, you know, I'm busy going to the bakery or what have you. Okay, so why are you not... So everyone's gender identity should be affirmed. Mm. You're not on the agree or strongly, dis, strongly agree, so that must mean that you believe that not everybody's gender identity should be affirmed. Whose gender identity should not be affirmed? I've taken this position because I believe the affirmation of gender identity, gender identity should be cautious. Uh, there should be a cautious approach. Now, what I mean by that is, um, if, say, I never medically transitioned and I look like you or him or any other man here right now, and then all of a sudden one day I woke up and just decided I expect that the whole world will affirm my gender and I'm just not going to put any effort into it, um, then that's not particularly convincing. Okay. Everyone's gender identity should be affirmed. Tell them why you strongly disagree. Because, b continue on what I said before, if you understand that the person is detached from physical reality and that therefore they're insane, you need to help them. We have mental health facilities to help these people. People who are mentally ill kill themselves. It's not that we cause their suicide, it's their mental illness that causes suicide. Okay. All, of, all of the mentally ill, not just the ones with sex yeah, yeah, yeah. dysphoria. So, so the, point, there, yeah. the, point, the point about strongly disagreeing is if you affirm their insane proposition, you're making them feel reinforced in their insanity. What we should do is hold our sanity and say, listen, you need help. Okay, let's say... Psychotherapy or whatever it okay. is. I don't know what it is. I'm okay. not a psychotherapist. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you something that you haven't asked for. Okay. There are 100 people. 99 of those 100 people can be quote unquote helped, in other words, to identify their gender no, with their, 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 okay, to According identify, to, okay. We don't want gender because it's fluid and okay. it's a concept can, and so it's not real. They say, can you, so 99%, 99 out of 100 people, they say, you know, we thought this, we, don't, we now realize this is not the case, but what about that one person? Who? What about that one in 100 case in which somebody says, you know what, I've been very sincere, I've gone through medical and psychological help, I've tried to do this, and I still, even though I was born with a penis, I feel deeply, deeply, I've gone through thousands of hours of counseling, I've seen psychiatrists, psychologists, what are those things where you well, sit in groups, points. yeah, and, they, well, and they're just like, no, I, I want to transition, I just... Well, who cares what they think? Well, it would, because it would improve the quality of their life. How can it improve the quality of their life? They're insane and they're hanging on to the insanity. But you, have, correct me if I'm wrong, you've said that transitioning has improved the quality of your life. That's my perception, yes. Really? That's your, so you could be wrong about that perception? I think perception in general is debatable. I'm not here to impose my perception on others. No, no, just you. But could you be wrong about the fact that it's improved the quality of your life? There's no evidence uh, at my end. My perception is there's no evidence that that's the case. That it I'm not aware. I'm not saying I will never regret this and then by the time I'm 90 years old, I'll have the same opinion. Anything can happen in the future, but I'm fairly certain, I'm fairly certain that it's improved the quality of my life. And I've been fairly certain of that for the last decade. 
Oh, so this has been a thing of 10, 10 years. Yes. So, okay, so if we had, let's just think, say... Can I yeah. take you up on your you, previous point? Anything you want. See, the point is this. There's lots of people who change their gender and they have their, you know, genitals mutilated and they have Correct. body parts manufactured and all Correct. that, right? But then it changes and then they regret it and they can't reverse those... Yeah, detransitioners, they're called. Yeah. I mean, we're doing terrible things to kids. Kids can't, you know, if a Muslim woman... Yeah. Cast, uh, does a clitoridectomy on yeah. her, on a ten year old daughter? That's a criminal offence. But the judges here are ordering genital mutilation. It's a satanic country. We're changing the laws. We're going towards sat satanism, and it's starting from the judiciary. They're making laws to make insanity normal. They're saying you have to affirm somebody else's belief system. If you look at them and they're a man and, they, and they've got a penis and they tell you they're a woman or they tell you that they, you, you know they're a labradoodle or something like that, why should you be? Why should <laughs> you believe it? I don't have a problem with it. I didn't mean to laugh. I didn't mean to laugh. That it. was a funny thing to say. I don't have a problem with it. They can believe that they're a labradoodle, a female one or a bisexual <laughs> labradoodle, but why should I have to accept that? I mean, yeah. So, you know, so, you're, is, you're, so, so, so you have to. two problems. Like, I want to make sure I understand correctly. You have two problems. The first problem is that you think it's does the person an injustice. Yes. And the second problem is you think it's unfair to you to acknowledge somebody else's well, it's sex because you don't want to impose that on me. It's like you can have your belief system that you're a you know bisexual labradoodle. I don't have a problem with that. When you tell me that I have to treat you like a you know bisexual labradoodle, <laughs> then I have a problem. Okay. When you legislate that, I have a problem. See, this goes down to empathy, which is complete yeah. bullshit, right? Because, you know, we used to have adult people working with adult people. I've been in computers for 40 years, oh. okay? We don't even talk to people who act immature because we know they're childish and they're going to keep changing. So what you do is you keep your personality, your feelings to yourself. Even if you say something that is offensive to the other person, you know, they, you want to give them a court for $30,000 and they're saying, no, that's stupid. Well, it might be offensive to me because I've struggled hard to make $30,000. But I don't show that. What we are being asked to do now is to be aware of and to change our behavior for the feelings of other people. Yeah. But hang on, there's a problem with that. I didn't cause, the, I didn't cause it. If, if I'm going to change the feelings of other people, it means that I have more power in their life than they do. Okay, I'm, I'm coming to you for a comment on that, but don't we do that in other aspects of our lives well, all intimate, the time? No, only intimate relationships. No, like but, children and family. No, and but I mean like we say, please, thank you, we well, that's, that's open the door. That's just civilization. That's just civilized behavior and manners. What, 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 do you, what do you have to say? I mean, he said there's a lot going on there. Yeah. So uh, I think I got two important points out of that. Uh, the first point is um, doing justice. Um, I don't necessarily agree that, I don't believe I'm doing injustice to myself. Obviously, I'm unable to have a natural family because I've medically transitioned and I can't have a, uh, you know, go off, get married, you know, have kids. So all of that biologically cannot occur because of medical choices I've made. However, on the second point, um, the point of he shouldn't be forced to affirm, well, I don't think anyone should be forced to affirm anything. I do recognize um, in the West, uh, there's this expectation by many in the LGBTQ community that however they identify individually, that they will be affirmed. On that point, I disagree with them and, um, and uh, yes, yeah, so on this point, I agree with him that he shouldn't be forced. So it appears to me that uh, one out of two points, we do agree on something. So one of the things that you said, which was interesting to me, so you cannot, you made the decision to not have children. So you wanted a transition. So that was more important to your life than the possibility of having children. At the time in my life when I was younger, um, the gender dysphoria was too much and thinking about, you know, having, getting married, having children, it, I, I was in the headspace for that. So, 
Okay, so is there anything that you would like to say to this man? Um, Just tell him, tell him if there's anything Sure, sure, sure. Yet. Life is very complicated. Um, I mean, I assume there's nothing new there. Um, it can be complicated in ways, you know, we think life is complicated, but it can be complicated in ways that we cannot expect. Um, so how he's taking it will be different to how someone else will take it. Is there a way one should take it? I don't think there's a right or wrong there. I think we just need to start to have conversations. And I, look, I've come across conservative Christians, conservative Catholics who all of You're a sudden, Catholic. Well, yes. And all of a sudden, for the first time in their life, they've seen a real trans person in their life and shock horror, I don't look like a drag queen. But then they, you know, they, they have these perceptions fed by the media or whoever you want to point the finger at. They have these perceptions and then when they meet someone like me in reality, uh, they don't start, you know, compromising on principles or their beliefs or what have you. But they, I do notice they take a step back and take it in because it can be a lot, a lot to take in. Because life is complicated, like you said. Do you, do you have anything that you'd like to say? Well, just that... Um, to them. To them. I mean, I'm very happy that some trans people accept that, you know, they can't, they can't impose their belief system on other people, right? But the problem is that it's, it starts with homosexuality, it doesn't start with transgenderism. It's because, what, do you mean, what do you mean? Well, there is basically, if you've got a, if you, we'll start with your example, right? If you're a boy and you've got a penis. Correct. And first of all, you don't have the sexual maturity to make any decisions or to have any feelings. When you're very young, for exactly. sure, for sure, yeah. yeah. That's what they're pushing, all right? So that's perversion. And that's grooming the child for pedophilia later in life, okay? When they get to the point where their hormones start kicking in. Yes. And they've already passed the age of reason, right? Like 18. No, no, age of reason, seven seven years old, nine years old at max. Well, I was thinking like American law, but okay, go ahead. No, I'm, I'm talking about... Um, the ability, yeah, oh, okay. religious okay. capability, where you are then able to sin. You can't sin if you're five years old and you don't understand sin. Right. But if you understand that it's wrong to piss in your friend's lunchbox and you do it, <laughs> right? I love your examples. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> okay. Okay, when you're yeah. five years old, it's not a crime. When right. you're seven years old, it's a crime. Yeah. <laughs> All right? All right. Okay. Or so, seven. yeah. Yeah. The, but the point is that they know what their penis is for. Right. They know what the girls are like. Right. And they start getting attracted to girls. And if they don't get attracted to girls and they're attracted to boys, there's a problem. What's, so the, what's the problem? Well, you can't ever get married and have children. It's what, if they don't, what if they don't want that? They're just born like that. Who cares what they want at seven years old? They're going to change, remember? Okay, well, so what if they they're feel like that at like time. 21? Right, if they feel like that in the 21, they have every right to feel like that. Oh, I see but, what you're saying. Okay. Or eight, okay. anything over 18. It, okay. But the point is, it's not permanent. Because someday, just like the lady over there, I'm sorry, whichever way you want. Yeah. Uh, whatever, you know, they change. So at 21, they might say, that, you know, they're So that's sexual. interesting for a second. So you said, I'm sorry. So you wanted to be respectful and polite. Yes, because I'm talking to her like a normal human being. Yeah. She's a human being. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm not being, you know. No, you're not being. Purposely offensive. No, no. You're being, right. no, you're being honest. Right. But if I don't know someone, I just categorize them the way they do, you know? So the point is so that. So you're the extending person, courtesies to oh, the people, like well, basic courtesy. Absolutely. Why yeah. not? Well, no, I agree. Yeah. I'm a civilized person. Well, yeah, me too. Right. So we need to we need to identify that they need help. It's sex dysphoria. It's not gender dysphoria because gender keeps changing. Okay. And the homosexual that we just mentioned, at 21 he might be homosexual. At you know 30 when he decides he wants to get married and have children, he might change his mind. Yeah, more so for women than men. But okay, I'll I'll run with what That's you're saying. Statistically, yeah. right? I mean, there's a lot of propaganda pushing homosexuality like it's a it's a possibility. It's not. This is liberalism, right? You know, a penis only fits into a vagina. It does not fit into an anus. You don't put anyone deciding <laughs> that they want to put... I think we have a lot of people who might disagree with that, but well, a lot of heterosexual people who disagree with that. It doesn't matter if they agree or not. I would be seriously offended 
by trying to put my reproductive equipment where somebody else collects their human waste, their toxic human waste. Uh -huh. It's insane. <laughs> it's not <Okay>. funny. <laughs> I mean, you can. Women <laughs> it can, kind of is funny, but okay. Women, okay. women can yeah. get pleasure in other ways. They don't necessarily have to have anal sex because it's not sex; it's perversion. The only the only sex that can happen is between a penis and a vagina. Well, what if a what if a woman it. or a guy wants that? Well, if they want that, it's obviously perverse, right? Doesn't mean it's bad because it's a kink. It's not a kink. It's perverse, and it's going to kill them. How's it going to kill them? Well, you get all sorts of... Uh, it's the lifestyle go that goes with it. Yeah, but people have anal sex constantly. and they're, they're, People aren't dropping dead yeah, from anal sex. They, wait until they get to 55 and they can, can't control their balls. Oh, no. I'm 56. It's, it's, it's called, no, it's okay. called <laughs> incontinence. All right? They, they, take, on, <laughs> they take on lots of lovers. I, I, heard yeah, yeah. A, I heard a homosexual... I have friends who are homosexual. Yeah. And, you know, he was boasting that he was... Um, up at the lavatory in King's Cross somewhere, and that, you know, after 15 men, he stopped counting. Now, he That's doesn't impressive. know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, do you think he's going to get AIDS or some horrible venereal disease? I'm, I hope he wore protection. Uh, no, he didn't. Yeah. He was on drugs. Oh, well, the that's another problem. Is, but there's yeah. a lifestyle that goes with it. You don't just go and do one-off in the in course. What about trans? Is there a trans lifestyle? Well, I think it's... It's homosexuality that has now blossomed into trance that is now getting more and more complex. Life isn't complex. Life is not complex. Correct. If you want to make life complex, then you're insane. Science gives you all what you need to know. Religion gives you the rest. Okay. It's, it's straightforward. You don't, right. you don't, you know, people who, people who know, people who have knowledge, they're not constantly contradicting themselves in their head. The problem with insane people is they're actually contradicting themselves in their head. So they're in, in, in pain. They're in intellectual pain. And that's why they need validation from outside. They're terribly insecure. We need to make them secure by giving them treatment. I'm going to give you the last word and then we're going to move on. You have anything to say or anything to, what do you want people to know or what have you? Um, do I say this is probably the best discussion that is taking place in Australia, or one of the best, that's taking, taking place in Australia because we've seen some pretty ugly scenes of protests and what have you, especially in Sydney and other places in um, uh, the recent month or so, um, since um, the start of World Pride. Uh, we've had a series of public discourse around LGBTQ issues um, there hasn't been a great reflection on us in general, but uh, no one's thrown a punch and no one's yelled at each other. And um, what we're, made, we're about what, to end on a very good note. Yeah, what made this discussion so good? The easy answer would be, oh, well, we're Catholics. So of course it's going to go well. But no, I think um, the, uh, the real answer is, um, I think deep down in all of us, uh, it's a human thing for us to just be courteous, be thoughtful, um, and be compassionate. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was excellent. That was excellent.